for our client, we are replacing a filter, just a steel box actually of 20 by 20 meters, and it uh, weighs roughly 525 tons. If you use conventional methods, it would take a lot of measuring, a lot of time. We could drastically reduce the downtime by having a large crane available, lifting it in one piece. The project in Dunkerque was a project with a lot of confined spaces. There were only certain areas available to put a crane in. In 2D, we couldn't say certain if it was a fit or not. If this crane couldn't make this job, then we would have had to execute this job with uh, multiple crawler cranes or with big crawler cranes that can uh, take apart this filter and, uh, and lift it out in smaller pieces. And that results into more welding on site, which results in more downtime for the plant. Which will um, interfere a lot with, uh, with other contractors, uh, with other works on site. Which drastically increases the downtime for the plant. So having a big crane available in a small space who could do the lift at once. Without taking it apart, that will always be preferable. The area that we need to uh, assemble the crane is really tight, so if you see it, then you don't think it's possible. In this case, uh, we were sure that we could do it, and to prove that, we, um, we had to make sure that our client was convinced as well. And what better tool to use for that than a tool where you can see our equipment inside their plant. You can just simulate the whole lift. There's a lot of different things going on on the plant. It's not that we're the only party on site. It was quite a challenging uh, site. Uh, very narrow, very uh, congested. If we can make a job simple, we'll do it. If that means that we can lift an item as a whole or without taking it apart, that will always be preferable. For this specific project, the added value came that we could visually convince our client that in this tight space, we can fit this very large and detailed crane. The optimal workflow was to uh, get the high density point cloud from our customer, get the highly detailed model we prepared for working in Move 3D, combining them two and do a full analysis on the whole situation. At the end, uh, the supervisor said, well, it looks like we will have a clash. And as it turned out, it was just a couple of meters of walkway and a piece of railing and some secondary steel somewhere in the background, which was obviously not a big issue. And it could be handled right there, right then. Is that all that you need? Yes. If you could please remove this railing, we can fit a very large crane in this small area. It was clear very fast that Move 3D was the right tool to use in this project. Working in Move 3D gave us the freedom to not only check the PTC ring crane, but also in the same file, in the same environment, check it with a large crawler crane. Uh, and also indicate the additional steps to be taken. Some transportation needed to be done with SPMTs. Um, the crawler crane needed to be erected in a similar way as the PTCs. You would still have the same impact on site, but it would take two or three lifts 
what we can do now as one. It was more uh, really a time-saving opportunity for them because they uh, were able to uh, build the new part simultaneously as that we were assembling the crane. There were multiple tight fits here. One was the pickup uh, where we have to boom down and you come very close with your boom to, to a structure. Um, then during the slewing operation we come very near to a uh, chimney with uh, outside platforms uh, attached to it. Further down the operation we have to slew further and we have to boom down again uh, to install the piece. Um, and again then we are very close uh, to the building with our boom system. If you use conventional methods it would take a lot of measuring, a lot of time, using a 3D program like Move3D, where you can place all our equipment into one environment to show the client that we could execute the project with the crane that we proposed. In this case, that was very important. Move3D allows us to show to our customer what is going to happen, instead of having to explain what's going to happen. The whole world around us is 3D, and for everybody it's a lot easier to understand a plan when it's presented to them in 3D. We had a transition from uh, paper output to still images to video, and we're currently in, in an era where a virtual reality is a very possible option. We have created projects in a virtual scene where multiple people could wear VR glasses, taking part in that project from different vantage points, showing already what's going to happen on our client site before the actual project takes place. The benefits to them is that first they get an understanding, so they're able to, um, from their perspective, provide input on maybe how to do things maybe even better or more effective. When working in 2D, a lot of information you have to gather and uh, review. When you change something or you make a revision or you, uh, you have to move the crane a little bit, then you have to do every single check again. In 3D, it's just loading your point cloud into the environment of Move3D. Even when you change a little bit, or you change the position of your crane a little bit, you can right away uh, do your, all your class checks again. And then see the result directly on your screen. I would really like to see us develop in a way that has added value for our customer. And I'm thinking of multiplayer setups where one user can be the operator of the crane and the other can be the rigger running on site, giving lifting instructions. Possibilities are limitless. In a virtual environment, you can train anything you want. You can practice anything you want. And so when people get out there in the field, they have the experience. Having a big crane available in a small space who could do the lift at once saved our clients a substantial amount of time. With Move3D, most of it, in my opinion, is peace of mind. Showing your customer in their environment what we can do with our equipment without interfering with other parties. Move3D gives us more capabilities to show pinch points and highlight issues and to communicate to our customer what the impact is for when Mammut arrives on site.
first, we started making visualizations in 3D using uh, visualization engineers. That uh, department has developed greatly over the past 10, 15 years. With Move 3D, we're able to give this visualization power to our heavy lifting engineers. So the, the person or persons creating the technical plans uh, are also able to turn them into 3D visualizations that are clear to everybody involved in the project. The advantage of Move 3D is that you can also use it for your own purpose. Um, so we could easily check if the assembly of the PC-35 would go as we normally do uh, the assembly of the PC-35. It's a centralized way of communicating with our client. All information is just right there in the 3D model. You're not relying on any reference documents or any photographs that somebody might have on their phone. It's all just right there in the 3D model for everybody to see, free to manipulate in a way that anybody wants.